Okay guys, just in case you don't know, the whole thing that I do behind this video uh, of you to seek the sound of the voice that I record in Audacity and to seek the sound that I record with my webcam is I just use this ruler. Yeah, I know it's a suck ruler, but I can usually use it as, you know, a uh, sound uh, sync. Now let's do this. One, two, three. Uh, not, not pretty loud. One, two, one, two, three. Okay guys, what's up? Welcome to another Sony Vegas tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you on how to do this. Oh, 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 stay away from me. Okay, that is basically an effect that can you do while watching Avatar The Last Airbender or maybe watching X-Men doing a Sabretot doing it usually. Okay, by the way, this tutorial requested by a guy from from Facebook again and my, since my last tutorial was also requested by a guy from Facebook and uh, this guy is a member from the DBA I can just give you the link for his profile in the description and I hope you like this tutorial and I hope you will understand everything that I mentioned the whole thing in this tutorial because my English is bad really okay let's go ahead into the tutorial uh, I really hate to do this one two three Stick the voice again because I'm recording this in Audacity. Okay, so we are on the on the Sony Vegas Pro 8, and if you're using Pro 10 or Pro 9, you'll notice some difference. But don't worry, since I'm using Pro 8, for all of you Vegas Pro 8 users, you can actually do this in Vegas Pro 8. So what do you want to do on your very first step on this fire snap effect is just to prepare a clip of you doing the fire snap. Okay, now that's the clip of me doing the fire snap, and that is the clip. Now it's time to download the detonation films flames. Now you download this, and as you can see here, the format is in QuickTime Movie. I give you the link to download the QuickTime player because when you drag this QuickTime file to Vegas, it will give you an error message of a wrong format. So I have to make sure that you must download QuickTime Player first before you drag this actual file into Sony Vegas. Now let's drag it into Sony Vegas when you have done um, downloading QuickTime Player. Okay, now what I've checked out this uh, file. Let's find a moment where the fire bursts out longer than I thought. The fire bursts out longer. Okay, this is the moment. I guess this is the moment where the fire bursts out longer. So let's find a moment where the fire start to burst out longer. Now to to modify in each frame, you have to press the left directional button here on your keyboard. Now this is the exact position where the fire begins to burst. Let's go ahead and click the fire. The fire. Uh, clip and then just press S to split between the intro here and undo and the stuff that you don't need then just bring it right here above your clip now when you don't know how to add your clip when you got here an error when you add a clip uh, you just need to add a video track so you right click and add video track okay now once you've done this you'll see the fire pops up Ooh, I forgot to mention that when you're dragging this file into Sony Vegas, it will black like this. As you can see, it black. Now, in the order to remove this, you go ahead and click this compositing mode and click Add. This is the method that I found from Little Rich, so credits for him. Oh, the fire is not in the actual position where I snapped the finger. How to make it in the actual position? It is simple. You go ahead and click this, uh, what is it called? A square sort of stuff? Okay, you go ahead and click it, and you can enlarge this window as big as possible you want to. Now, you make sure that you click, right click here, and you click match output aspect, depending on if you have an HD video. So if you have some HD clip or HD videos, um, I recommend you to right, right click and match output aspect and don't forget to click this maintain aspect ratio set it to no 
why when you set this to yes then you will cut some part of this video because you just right click and match output aspect so I recommend you to click on maintain aspect ratio first before you right click and match output aspect okay now once you're done the fire now is in the very bottom of your video now it's time to move it up oh as you can I can see the dot here so let's just put this keyframe over here so that I could know the actual fire when the actual fire will burst up here is the time where the actual fire burst up oh wait a second okay I should have put it there but at the starting position it should be right there it should be right here you can still, still see it a little bit uh. <laughs> I can still see it a little bit there uh, around the top of my hand there okay now as you can see whoops the fire is on the wrong position I want to animate the fire wait a second uh, that's not the right time so the fire should be right here okay now let's see okay the fire is not fast the fire is very slow how to fix this okay now you go ahead and hold control and go to this edge and click and drag it until it matches up your video now the fire turns out fast wait a second when I try to move my thumbs my fire is kind of stay on the place so it's like this I move my thumb away but the fire stays on the place I want to make the fire animated how could you do that well it's pretty simple you go ahead and click into the even pan or crop and click the sync cursor now once you're done you play the video file and stop at the moment where your thumbs move you go ahead and click the even pan or crop again and you move the fire onto your thumb uh, now for most advanced users I usually do this first I click the key, add keyframe and I just put it on the middle and I just move it there and it adds instantly adds a new keyframe so you do this until the move ends so it moves again so I'm just gonna go back to the even pattern crop and I add a keyframe I just set it to middle because I am uh, I know how to do this now I just put it there right above my thumb now let's play it again whoa whoa wait a second wait a second wait a second when I wipe out my hand the fire is still bursting what the hell okay now to prevent this from happening you just go ahead and find the moment where the fire burst again that's the moment where the fire bursts again now you use your left and right directional pad to find the moment where the fire burst you zoom in using your up directional pad and as you can see the fire burst again at that time so you're just gonna press s to cut that part and delete it now as you can see the pi the fire is now working see the fire is moving and it also works and it also and on the desired time see okay that's a tutorial on how to make the fire snap if you have any question leave a comment below this video and if you like this tutorial go ahead and click like because I really need a like for this video and oh yeah I forgot to mention this that when just in case if you want to make it a little realistic and a little uh, effect a little sound effect I give you the link for the download for the sound effects like the snapping sound effect and also the fire sound effect in the video description too and you go ahead and download it but unfortunately you have to be the member of free sound effects uk you'll get a lot of sound effects free sound effects there so thank you for watching this video I hope you find it useful I see you guys later on the next video so thank you for watching bye bye